In the ever-changing landscape of Hollywood, where fame can be fleeting and stars rise and fall with the tides of popularity, there exists a rare breed of performers who defy the odds and stand the test of time. As the entertainment industry evolves, it's remarkable to find individuals who have not only weathered the storms of fame, but continue to captivate audiences even in their twilight years. Join us as we celebrate these remarkable individuals who continue to shine bright, even as they approach the incredible milestone of 101 years old. Bob Newhart. Bob Newhart, at 94 years old, stands as a beloved figure in the world of comedy, maintaining a career that has spanned generations. Born in Oak Park, Illinois in 1929, Newhart's understated humor and unique comedic timing have set him apart from his peers throughout his illustrious career. From his groundbreaking album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, to his hit sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, he has carved out his own niche in comedy history. What distinguishes Newhart, especially at his advanced age, is his enduring commitment to clean, family-friendly comedy. Despite the ever-changing landscape of entertainment, he has remained consistent in his approach, eschewing controversy and scandal. Even as he nears the remarkable milestone of 101, Newhart's career has remained remarkably free from the typical pitfalls of Hollywood. Throughout his career, Newhart's comedic genius has earned him widespread acclaim and adoration from audiences of all ages. His timeless humor has not only entertained, but also served as a source of comfort and joy for countless fans around the world. Even in his later years, Newhart continues to make memorable appearances, such as his guest spot on the hit sitcom The Big Bang Theory, where his comedic chemistry with the cast earned widespread acclaim. Morgan Freeman Morgan Freeman, at his seasoned age and status as the oldest living star, epitomizes the essence of a Hollywood icon. Born in the soulful city of Memphis, Tennessee, in 1937, Freeman's journey to stardom is a testament to perseverance and talent. Initially aspiring to be a fighter pilot, he pivoted to acting after a stint in the U.S. Air Force, marking his Broadway debut in 1967 and quickly becoming a familiar face on educational children's TV with The Electric Company. Throughout the 1970s, Freeman showcased his talent on stage and screen, earning acclaim for performances in Street Smart and Driving Miss Daisy. His portrayal of a dangerous hustler in Street Smart even garnered his first Academy Award nomination. However, it was his roles in The Shawshank Redemption and Million Dollar Baby that solidified his status as a Hollywood powerhouse. Freeman's rich, authoritative voice has become synonymous with gravitas, lending itself to iconic roles such as in The Shawshank Redemption and as the narrator in March of the Penguins. Despite facing personal challenges, including a near-fatal car accident in 2008, Freeman's resilience and dedication to his craft have defined a career that refuses to be overshadowed by adversity. Clint Eastwood Clint Eastwood, the epitome of rugged masculinity and cinematic legend, holds the distinction of being the oldest living star in Hollywood. Born in San Francisco, California in 1930, Eastwood's journey to stardom is a testament to resilience and determination. Despite facing initial setbacks, including a terminated contract with Universal Studios, Eastwood persevered and eventually secured his breakthrough role as Rowdy Yates in the TV western Rawhide. It was Eastwood's portrayal of iconic characters like Dirty Harry in the eponymous film series that catapulted him to international fame. His steely gaze and stoic demeanor became synonymous with the tough, no-nonsense persona that defined his career. Yet Eastwood's talents extend far beyond acting. He seamlessly transitioned into directing, earning critical acclaim for films like Unforgiven and Million Dollar Baby, both of which won him Academy Awards for Best Director. Despite his advancing age, Eastwood remains a formidable presence in Hollywood, both in front of and behind the camera. His unwavering commitment to his craft and his ability to adapt to the evolving landscape of filmmaking have solidified his status as a cinematic icon. Moreover, Eastwood's outspoken political views and personal life, while occasionally controversial, have only served to further cement his place in the annals of Hollywood history. Dick Van Dyke 
Dick Van Dyke, revered as one of Hollywood's most enduring talents and the oldest living star, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry over the span of his illustrious career. Born in 1925, Van Dyke began making a name for himself on the radio and stage before transitioning seamlessly to television and film. His journey to stardom took off when he formed the comedic duo Eric and Van and toured the West Coast with mime performances. This early success led to a contract with CBS where he served as the anchor for the CBS Morning Show. Van Dyke's big break came with his role in the hit musical Bye Bye Birdie, propelling him to stardom and paving the way for his iconic turn as Bert in the timeless classic Mary Poppins. Van Dyke's charisma, infectious charm, and impeccable comedic timing endeared him to audiences worldwide. He further solidified his status as a television icon with his own show, The Dick Van Dyke Show, which showcased his talent for physical comedy and wit. Later in his career, he continued to captivate audiences with his role as Dr. Mark Sloan in Diagnosis Murder. Despite personal tragedies, such as the loss of his beloved wife Margie Willett in 2008, Van Dyke's resilience and enduring passion for his craft have never wavered. Now, at 99 years old, he remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, beloved by fans old and new alike. Dick Van Dyke's remarkable career and timeless appeal serve as a testament to the enduring power of talent and the magic of entertainment. Roger Corman Roger Corman, often dubbed the King of B-Movies, stands as a pioneering figure in the world of cinema and holds the distinction of being one of the oldest living stars. Born in 1926 in Detroit, Michigan, Corman's love for filmmaking blossomed on the gritty streets of his hometown. Despite financial constraints, he displayed unparalleled skill in creating iconic movies on low budgets, a talent that would become his trademark. Corman's career took off as he established himself as a director, producer, and mentor to emerging talents in Hollywood. His knack for crafting films with minimal resources paved the way for a legion of filmmakers and amassed a cult following that reverberates through the corridors of film history. Beyond his role as a filmmaker, Corman wore multiple hats, serving as a mentor to emerging talents like Martin Scorsese and James Cameron. He provided opportunities for aspiring filmmakers to hone their craft, shaping the landscape of cinema for generations to come. Despite facing financial storms and the closure of his production company, New World Pictures, Corman's edgy filmmaking style and unyielding dedication to his craft never waned. While occasionally sparking controversy with his boundary-pushing films, he remained steadfast in his commitment to pushing the boundaries of filmmaking. Nancy Ann Olsen Nancy Ann Olsen, a luminous presence in the world of cinema, stands as one of the oldest living stars, her career spanning decades of captivating performances. Beginning her journey with Paramount Pictures in 1948, Olsen quickly rose to prominence with unforgettable supporting roles, showcasing her exceptional acting prowess. However, it was her portrayal of Betty Schaefer in the film noir masterpiece Sunset Boulevard that truly solidified her as a talent to be reckoned with, earning her an Academy Award nomination. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Olsen's personal life added depth to her story. Her marriage to renowned lyricist Alan J. Lerner added another layer of intrigue, though the union eventually ended. Love found her once again when she married Capitol Records executive Alan W. Livingston, with whom she shared a remarkable journey until his passing in 2009. Olsen's versatility as an actress extended beyond the silver screen, enchanting audiences on Broadway and television alike. Her performances in Broadway productions and television shows like Alfred Hitchcock Presents and Gunsmoke showcased her ability to bring depth and authenticity to every character she portrayed. Despite officially retiring from acting in the mid-1980s, Olsen's presence continues to shine through occasional appearances in film and television. As one of the oldest living stars, Nancy Ann Olsen's contributions to cinema are celebrated and cherished, embodying the enduring spirit of the silver screen. Eva Marie Sant Eva Marie Sant a legendary actress whose illustrious career spans an astounding seven decades, 
stands as one of the oldest living stars in the entertainment industry. With a rare ability to infuse her characters with emotional depth and unwavering strength, Saint has left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Saint's breakthrough came with her Academy Award-winning performance in the iconic drama On the Waterfront in 1954, where she showcased her exceptional talent alongside Marlon Brando. Alfred Hitchcock himself recognized her brilliance, casting her in the thrilling masterpiece North by Northwest in 1959. Her talent transcended film as she earned accolades for her roles in dramas like A Hatful of Rain and the Emmy-winning miniseries People Like Us. From Raintree County to Grand Prix, her filmography boasts various unforgettable performances, each showcasing her timeless grace and magnetic presence. Saint's journey in the entertainment industry began on television, making her on-camera debut in 1946 as part of NBC's Campus Hoopla. Since then, she has continued to captivate audiences with her talent, versatility, and unwavering commitment to her craft. Recognized for her remarkable contributions to both television and major motion pictures, Saint proudly boasts two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, June Lockhart. June Lockhart, born on June 25, 1925, embarked on her acting journey at a young age, sharing the screen with her illustrious parents in timeless classics like A Christmas Carol and Meet Me in St. Louis. Her early exposure to the world of entertainment set the stage for a remarkable career that would span over seven decades. Transitioning from minor roles, Lockhart soared to new heights with lead roles in hit films like She-Wolf of London, However, her true calling awaited her on the theater stage and the television screen. Her performance in acclaimed stage plays like For Love or Money garnered her a coveted Tony Award, establishing her as a force to be reckoned with in the theatrical world. Yet, it was her iconic portrayal of Ruth Martin, the quintessential television mom, in the beloved family sitcom Lassie that secured her a special place in everyone's hearts. For seven unforgettable years, Lockhart graced the small screen with charm and warmth, earning two Emmy nominations for her portrayal. Lockhart's talent knew no boundaries as she effortlessly transitioned into other prominent roles, including the beloved Dr. Janet Craig in Petticoat Junction and the unforgettable Dr. Maureen Robinson in the sci-fi comedy Lost in Space. With nearly 70 television series and over 20 movies to her credit, Lockhart's prolific career cemented her status as a living legend in the entertainment industry. In recognition of her exceptional contributions to film and television, Lockhart was honored with not one, but two stars on the illustrious Hollywood Walk of Fame. Priscilla Marie Pointer. Priscilla Marie Pointer, born on May 18, 1924, is a distinguished actress whose remarkable career has spanned decades, making her one of the oldest living stars in the entertainment industry. With a passion for acting that has endured the test of time, Pointer's journey is characterized by resilience, versatility, and unwavering dedication to her craft. Beginning her career in theater, Pointer honed her skills and showcased her comedic talent on Broadway stages, featuring in notable productions such as A Streetcar Named Desire and The Country Wife. Alongside her husband, Jewel Irving, she co-founded the renowned San Francisco Actors Workshop, leaving an indelible mark on the theatrical world. After taking a break to focus on raising children, Pointer returned to acting in the 1970s and 1980s with renewed vigor. She became a familiar face on both the big and small screens, portraying diverse and memorable characters in iconic films like Carrie and Looking for Mr. Goodbar. Pointer's on-screen presence was marked by her ability to bring depth and authenticity to every role she inhabited, whether as a caring mother, stern teacher, or determined judge, her undeniable charisma captivated audiences and left a lasting impression. Throughout her career, Pointer's passion for acting remained steadfast, enriching both her professional and personal life. Her enduring legacy in the entertainment industry serves as a testament to her talent, resilience, and timeless contributions to stage and screen. At the age of 99, Priscilla Marie Pointer continues to inspire and captivate audiences, reminding us of the enduring power of storytelling. Harrison Ford. 
Harrison Ford, born on July 13, 1942, is not only an iconic actor, but also holds the esteemed title of being the oldest living star among those discussed in the provided information. At the age of 81, Ford stands as a testament to longevity and enduring talent in the entertainment industry. Ford's illustrious career spans decades, marked by unforgettable performances in some of the most iconic films in cinematic history. Rising to prominence in the 1970s, Ford solidified his status as a leading man with his portrayal of Han Solo in the Star Wars franchise, capturing the hearts of audiences worldwide with his charismatic portrayal of the daring space smuggler. However, it was his role as the adventurous archaeologist Indiana Jones in the Indiana Jones series that further cemented his status as a Hollywood legend. Ford's rugged charm and indomitable spirit brought the character to life, creating an enduring legacy in the realm of action-adventure cinema. Despite his age, Ford remains active in the industry, continuing to engage in new projects and defy the limitations of age. While he may not be as prolific as in his earlier years, his dedication to his craft is evident in his selective choice of roles, ensuring that each project he undertakes maintains the high standard of quality he is known for. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Ford's personal life reflects a commitment to his craft and a dedication to his family. Despite persistent rumors of his demise, Ford remains resilient, actively contributing to the cinematic landscape and leaving an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. Anthony Hopkins Sir Anthony Hopkins, born on December 31, 1937, is celebrated as the oldest living star among the personalities discussed. At 85 years old, Hopkins stands as a towering figure in the realm of acting, revered for his unparalleled talent, remarkable versatility and enduring impact on cinema. Throughout his illustrious career spanning over six decades, Hopkins has exemplified the epitome of excellence in the craft of acting. Renowned for his chameleonic ability to inhabit a diverse array of roles, he has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. His performances are characterized by a mesmerizing depth and intensity, captivating audiences and critics alike. Hopkins gained international acclaim for his iconic portrayal of the enigmatic and chilling character Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs a role that earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor. His portrayal of the erudite yet terrifying serial killer remains one of the most memorable in cinematic history. Beyond his portrayal of Hannibal Lecter, Hopkins has delivered a plethora of captivating performances across various genres. From Shakespearean classics to contemporary dramas, he has consistently demonstrated his mastery of the craft, earning accolades and adoration from audiences worldwide. John Astin. John Astin, born on March 30, 1930, holds the distinction of being one of the oldest living stars among the personalities discussed, currently at the age of 94. Throughout his remarkable career, Astin has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, captivating audiences with his unique charm and versatility. Astin's enduring legacy is largely attributed to his iconic portrayal of Gomez Adams the charismatic patriarch of the eccentric Adams family. His portrayal of Gomez in both the original television series and subsequent adaptations showcased his comedic prowess and impeccable timing, earning him widespread acclaim and endearing him to generations of viewers. Beyond his memorable role as Gomez Adams, Aston's career is characterized by a diverse array of performances across film, television, and stage. His versatility as an actor allowed him to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles, showcasing his range and depth as a performer. In addition to his acting talents, Aston has also made significant contributions to academia, serving as the director of the Theater Arts and Studies Department at Johns Hopkins University until his retirement in 2021 at the remarkable age of 90. His dedication to both his craft and education further exemplifies his multifaceted talents and unwavering commitment to excellence. Richard Chamberlain. Richard Chamberlain, born on March 31, 1934, stands as one of the oldest living stars among the luminaries discussed, currently at the age of 90. With a career spanning several decades, Chamberlain has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, 
captivating audiences with his talent, charm, and versatility. Chamberlain's journey to stardom began with notable roles in stage productions and television series, gradually earning him recognition and acclaim. However, it was his portrayal of Ralph de Bricassar in the Thornbirds miniseries that propelled him to international fame and solidified his status as a leading actor. Throughout his illustrious career, Chamberlain has showcased his range as an actor, seamlessly transitioning between dramatic and romantic roles with ease. His captivating performances in projects like Shogun, The Count of Monte Cristo, and Centennial further demonstrated his ability to command the screen and capture the hearts of audiences worldwide. Despite decades of success, Chamberlain's talent remains as potent as ever, with recent appearances in projects like Twin Peaks and Finding Julia, reminding viewers of his enduring relevance and impact on the industry. His ability to captivate audiences across generations speaks to the timeless quality of his performances and the universal appeal of his charisma. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.